Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های بسیاری است. از این وبسایت دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Due to climate change, more than 20 million have been displaced as climate refugees. Scientists also worry about the billions of tons of methane sitting beneath the now melting Arctic permafrost and the ever-warming oceans. Warming Oceans, a call to end the climate crisis, part one of three. Continue watching to find out more. Drin Gwinzi means good day in Gwich'in, one of the aboriginal languages spoken in the Yukon Territory. I am Kish. The caring people of the Yukon Territory are grateful to you for being good environmental stewards and for choosing to be vegan. Earth-loving viewers, welcome to part one of our three-part series, Warming Oceans, A Call to End the Climate Crisis. In this episode, we'll explore melting sea ice and permafrost and how these phenomena are related to the warming oceans. Today, the planet is facing critical climate challenges due to human activities that are detrimental to the environment and our animal co-inhabitants. Raising animal livestock is recognized as a leading cause of human-driven greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and air and water pollution. Ocean warming is accelerating due to excessive amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that prevent heat radiated from the Earth's surface from escaping into space. Arctic ice reflects sunlight back into space, keeping the planet cool. As the ice melts, the reflecting white ice is replaced by dark water which absorbs sunlight. This heat makes more ice melt, which in turn allows more heat to be absorbed in a positive feedback loop. Another problem is that as the frozen northern marshy regions melt, methane, which is also a greenhouse gas, previously locked in the ice, is released, adding to the gases in the atmosphere, thereby causing more warming. British glaciologist Dr. Julian Dowdswell explains how the melting of sea ice affects warming temperatures. Sea ice covers up to 20 million square kilometers of the polar seas during winter. That's about double the size of Europe. On the other hand, the glaciers and the ice sheets that cover large land areas of the Earth's surface are up to kilometers in, thick, th in thickness. Glaciers are a few hundred meters thick. The great ice sheets of Antarctica and Greenland are up to three and five kilometers thick, respectively. If all that ice on land were to melt, global sea level would rise by about 60 meters, or perhaps even a little more. As the oceans continue to absorb large amounts of heat, their surface temperatures are rising. And as the ocean surface warms, it has an enormous impact on marine life, storm intensity, and more.
An international team consisting of 14 scientists from 11 institutes conducted a comprehensive study entitled Record Setting Ocean Warmth Continued in 2019. The study revealed that in 2019, the world's oceans were the warmest in recorded history and that the rate at which ocean temperatures are rising is speeding up. The findings, published in the January 2020 issue of the journal Advances in Atmospheric Sciences, reported that the average ocean temperature in 2019 was 0.075 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2019 average. While that may sound minuscule, it represents an enormous amount of heat absorbed by the world's oceans. Regarding this issue, climate research scientist Dr. John Abraham says, It is critical to understand how fast things are changing. If you want to understand global warming, you have to measure ocean warming. Similar to heat waves on land, extreme heat can also affect the near surface layer of the oceans with a wide range of consequences for marine life and dependent communities. Sea surface temperatures and marine heat waves are currently being tracked by satellite. Marine heat waves are categorized as moderate, strong, severe, or extreme. During 2020, much of the ocean experienced at least one strong marine heat wave at some point. Co-chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Dr. Hans Otto Portner reiterated the severity of the warming oceans. The oceans are sending us so many warning signals that we need to get emissions under control. Ecosystems are changing, food webs are changing, fish stocks are changing, and this turmoil is affecting humans. In addition to ocean warming, sea levels are expected to rise significantly by the end of the century, putting coastal regions at extreme risk. Professor Portner further warned, We should all be concerned because the oceans are covering more than 70% of the planet, and sea level rise concerns many coastlines especially the low-lying coasts and the low-lying islands. There is no time to wait. We'll take a moment now to pray that all human beings soon adopt a vegan lifestyle to help stop climate change. We'll be back after this message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Thoughtful viewers, welcome back to our program. Warmer ocean temperatures are causing the melting of Arctic ice and permafrost, thus releasing large amounts of methane gas into the atmosphere. This in turn causes rising sea levels, which pose a profound risk to the hundreds of millions of people and animals living in coastal areas. Temperatures have been rising over the past century and they've been accelerating in that rise since 1980. Global temperatures have risen at least half a degree since the 1960 to 90 period. Sensitivity is high in the Arctic because reflective sea ice is being replaced by open water and there's a self-reinforcing process which means that the energy balance is changing and therefore less sea ice produces more warming of the water. We see this in this image here um, where in the 40 years of which satellites have accumulated data, uh, the amount of sea ice present during summer has dropped by almost a third. That's about half the size of Australia is now open water instead of very reflective ice, and that makes a big difference to the energy balance. 
There are three controls on global sea level. The first is melting of glaciers and ice sheets. Uh, the second is the thermal expansion of the ocean. And the third is changing storage of water on the Earth's surface. The greatest influence on sea level rise is the melting of Earth's massive ice sheets on Antarctica and Greenland. If completely melted, these ice sheets contain enough water to raise sea levels by several meters. Even if just 10% of these ice sheets disappeared, it would flood numerous coastal cities and submerge many small island nations, rewriting world maps. and a dangerous amount of melting is already occurring. In 2019, record heat triggered extreme melting in Greenland. By the end of summer, it was estimated that more than 400 billion tons of ice had either melted or calved off of Greenland's giant ice sheets. That would provide enough water to cover the entire state of Pennsylvania, USA, or all of Greece with about 35 centimeters of floodwaters. In a 2018 presentation by the USA's National Center for Atmospheric Research, or NCAR, Dr. William Lipscomb, a senior research scientist at NCAR's Climate and Global Dynamics Laboratory, spoke about the impact of melting ice sheets. If you have warming of, let's say, 3 degrees Celsius, you know, a little over 5 Fahrenheit or more, the Greenland ice sheet is probably not viable, that most of it would melt, and the West Antarctic ice sheet would probably collapse at some point, and um, maybe you'd lose significant parts of East Antarctica as well, and so you'd get sea level rise of at least 12 meters and maybe more like 20, and that would be pretty well catastrophic. Hotter ocean temperatures combined with rising sea levels further imperil marine ecosystems and coastal regions. The warmer ocean also causes extreme storms and the changing of traditional weather patterns. Nations must quickly take the necessary steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and halt climate change. To stop climate change, we must understand its root cause. Numerous studies around the globe have concluded that the primary cause of greenhouse gases is the raising of livestock. The United Nations also reports that raising livestock contributes more greenhouse gases than all forms of transportation combined and recommends a widespread shift to a plant-based diet. Our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken many times about the risk posed by rising sea levels and the devastating consequences we face as a result. She reminds us that the fastest way to halt climate change and prevent further catastrophic events is through the organic vegan lifestyle. According to the latest report, Sí, porque de acuerdo a los, a los reportes más recientes, animals is um, responsible for 51% at least of all the greenhouse gas emission that hit up the planet. Los animales son responsables por lo menos del 51% de los gases de efecto invernadero que calientan nuestro planeta. So if we stop animal industry, we cut out 51%. Así que si eliminamos la industria animal, eliminamos el 1% of the heat. del calor. Easy. And then, if we use all the tillable land, all the cultivable land, to plant organic vegetable and fruit. Y entonces si usamos toda la tierra disponible arable, arable que se usa para los animales para plantar orgánico, then we cut off another forty percent at least of carbon dioxide that exists. Entonces eliminamos por lo menos otro cuarenta por ciento del dióxido de carbono que ya existe. The planet cooled off. El planeta ya se enfrió. In a few years. En unos cuantos años. I mean, the, when the animal all die naturally, yeah. 
And all the organic vegetables will come in. Mm -hmm. todos los vegetales orgánicos crezcan. A few years time, we don't have any two degree. En unos cuantos años ya no tendremos dos grados. Yes. Yeah. Dos grados. Sí. Then we have the planet still. Y entonces aún tendremos nuestro. We can still keep the cars, trains. Todavía podemos tener carros. Airplanes. Aviones. We develop better, greener technology for transportation, etc. You see what I mean? We still have all that, all the comfort. Yes, just stop the animal industry and become vegan. Due to climate change, more than 20 million have been displaced as climate refugees. Scientists also worry about the billions of tons of methane sitting beneath the now melting Arctic permafrost and the ever warming oceans. Just a fraction released from either one could trigger mass extinctions. Concerned viewers, thank you for your company today during part one of Warming Oceans call to end the climate crisis. Please join us again on Monday, March 1st for part two. Coming up next is Celebrating Miracles on Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, right after noteworthy news. May our loved ones and future generations be safe as we soon shift to a peaceful vegan world. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PE.